This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel K and I'm back with another tour review and today Infernac Universe, well, Transformers Legacy Infernac Universe, Magnus. Great toy. From the Inhumanoids franchise, has nothing to do with Rock Lords, but it's really cool that the people are associated associating them, sorry, with Rock Lords, uh, even if they're not. This guy's a uh, armorizer, which I guess is the same thing as a weaponizer or a fossilizer. Sorry for the ring light. Uh, but it looks really good. And here you have him with animated Bumblebee. So great artwork from the uh, Legacy United uh, toy line. Wave, I think this is wave one, uh, potentially. Uh, could be wave two, I don't, no, actually wave two, I'm waiting for the pre-orders. So yeah, um, yeah, I like uh, the uh, uniqueness of the toys. Uh, so that's uh, pretty cool. And this is a recommendation from my buddy Firetox, who had a series called Get Your Get Your Rocks Off with Firetox, uh, where he reviewed all the uh, original uh, rock lords. And he told me, he said, uh, you better get one before I get them all. So I did. So there you go. So before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Okay, box first. Love the artwork. I have to say that this, all of these, if they were to, and I hope I'm not, you know, shooting myself in the foot, but if they were to redo these in a molten type of color, uh, kind of like what they did with that Triceratop fossilizer, uh, the Generation Select version was like black and fire, and it looked really good. Um, if they were to do that with these, they probably would uh, sell very well. So I love the artwork here, uh, the face, and really I know nothing of Magnus from Inhumanoids. Like I unfortunately haven't watched the show, um, or at least in a very long time. So uh, you have all the weaponizer feature uh, or armorizer. Uh, that's a really beautiful truck mode. And, uh, you know, you can make a super hammer, kind of like that uh, red uh, Target Master. I guess, is it a Target Master if it's a hammer? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, Armorizer. There you go. Uh, so, nice box. And then you have all the uh, cool stuff that people uh, are waiting for. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's the box. Instruction. Uh, they show you where to put everything. Standard Hasbro stuff can complain works like a charm and then you have this I guess you can wield it here as a gun um, it's kind of hollow underneath oh, actually it's hollow on both sides uh, lots of details but you need it for the weapon I the armorizer gimmick and uh, you can store it uh, in alt mode uh, fairly easily so it works and then Magnus itself looks fantastic look at that face sculpt the golden eyes that's different that's sweet uh, asymmetrical look uh, i i dig that uh you know even here the spin is longer so that's really cool i like that um you know and this is not just the same version just reversed it's two different molds uh you'll notice that on most of this stuff uh, like here there's like let's say one two three four little piece of rock and here there's well four as well okay this one's a straight uh, mirror but I mean I like the asymmetrical uh, part of some of the stuff like here it's kind of asymmetrical um, the legs though are not they're, they're symmetrical and I'm a huge s symmetry guy to a point where my girlfriend you know I annoy her it's borderline well it's not borderline it's OCD but yeah uh, looks really good. I mean one shaded or actually one There's a couple shades of gray here, but um, He could use uh, you know some other color just to break out 
uh, a little bit of the the whole mold so but it's I mean it's original it's cool it's I like it uh, what do we have for articulation you have your ferris wheel you can lift it all the way here you have a elbow bend 90 degree you have a wrist rotation and the, and the hand goes up and down and then you have a rotation underneath here uh, you have a very tight well it's not no it doesn't go all the way around it's not on a ball joint but you do have a up and down because of the transformation uh, what do we have we have of course a waist rotation kick forward kick back oh wonderful band and the foot is very well articulated arch bleh, articulated sorry you have because of transformation you have a big uh, tilt and then you have a ankle rocker looks really good oh you do have a rotation under the tie here at the knee there you go so that's your rotation uh your articulation and then the gun or the mace, axe, pick, whatever you want to call it. There you go. I really dig this guy. Uh, let's do some... Yeah, why not? Let's do some size comparison with this guy. Let's go with G1 Sunstreaker. The greatest toy of all time. Voyager Class Canadian Inferno. And Leader Class Beast War Transmetal 2 Megatron which um, I don't play enough with. All right, so let me put him in the alt mode because afterwards it's easier to show the uh, armorizer gimmick. And here we are. Um, I think that's the right way to transform him because of this, but I mean, the pins kind of stick underneath, so it's not, well, no, it's not really rolling well. But that's a minor detail because this alt mode is freaking amazing. I mean, nice grill, gunmetal, and then you have all the rocky gray all around it. A uh, superb uh, rooftop with uh, nice uh, plated, you know, protected window. Can't complain there. Uh, the side, it's all like rocks, and the hands, the arms are really well hidden. Uh, you know, the only thing showing is that pin cover. You have, uh, this is a bit, you know, something that they could have covered probably you know remove some of the hollowness uh, you have the rest of the the wheel looks really good the back cleans up real nice you know except you know just a little joint it's not bad at all and from the top you have the weapon you have you know uh, the back of the feet here uh, still you know could be you know used for you know any kid with imagination is gonna you know, have a use for that, a grill of some sort. Looks, I love the look of this thing. Now, the paint application on it is really well done. The different tones of gray everywhere. Yeah, that's a great looking toy. And from underneath, I mean, it's not half bad. You know, can't complain there. I mean, you can see the robot arms and legs, but it, it's not a deal breaker at all. Yeah, no, can't complain. This is a fantastic toy. Sorry, kind of knocked the arm of the camera. But that's that's a great looking toy. So let's go and, uh, uh, we, you know, separate him from his components so that you can use the uh, weaponizer, uh, armorizer gimmick. So you take that off and then you take the whole feet out. You have on the sides here, There you go, the side of the arms. There you go. And you have the roof. And I think, I think I'm pretty much done. Let me just take a look at the instructions. Yeah, actually I forgot one part. You can remove the arms so that you can use them for other means. So basically, that's what you're left with. 
um, you could pretend it's a surfboard, kinda. But let's uh, armorize someone. And so far, the best bot I did find for that is that mold, because there's a lot of pegs a little bit everywhere. So uh, you have the shield, which we can use. And eh, let's see here. And then you have the guards for the, the arms. You can put it any way you want, though. You know, I'm just playing around, having some fun. Uh, yeah, like this. Um, if you want, you can put... Uh, uh, where is it? There's a peg here. No, it doesn't work. I know I've put some stuff uh, down before. Ah, uh, maybe it was on the other mold. Hold on. So with grapple, what I did is put uh, this thing here. Sure, the you know wheels is taken out, but maybe um, can I put it forward a little bit? Nah, it kind of jams. So anyway. Uh, what you could do though is put this then instead here and then take this put it down here there you go all right sorry Canadian Inferno you're gonna have to go for now and let's go with armorizing grapple which is a fantastic mold I haven't played with these guys in a while but I really dig uh, those four molds and then you have let's say this one here to serve as a shield for the arm like this there you go I mean it's not perfect but give it to a kid yeah this is this is going to look awesome. Uh, I'm just going to remove his gun so that we can uh, put... Now, what do they suggest with this? Hold on. Yeah, the arms are, you know, you can add to uh, better the uh, the armor, the legs. But, um, you know, like they, they're showing it uh, that you can use it down here. And then if you, you know, so it protects legs so why not let's do that for the heck of it it's very versatile really uh, you have two pegs that you can use let's go with the more stable one so you want to protect the whole of the legs I mean it's not perfect but it's a good a good idea for a gimmick you know and if you want you can always leave this here so He's protected with the shield and, uh, and then here what they show you is to take this apart like that put this here and this here and it gives you a huge hammer which most tolerances won't be able to hold properly but it works all right so I uh, see there you go so there you go, grapple fully armorized. And then after that, if you want, you can ride on that hoverboard. Rocky hoverboard. There you go. That's pretty cool. All right, let, uh, let me put this guy back together literally and uh, do my final thoughts. Okay, so we're back and he's uh, looking good and I think I showed hollowness earlier but now it's I think I had them backwards um, and it looks you know a hundred times better so I love 
I really do love this toy. It's a fantastic gimmick. Um, not the sorry, not the gimmick of the armorizer, but the 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 look, the rocky exterior. That's original and fun. Uh, way better than the fossilizer. Like I'm sorry, the fossilizer were subpar to me. I mean, if you like them, that's great. I'm happy for you. It just wasn't for me. So there you go. Thanks for watching this, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives the right to be an asshole. Take care.